Prince Harry of Wales has returned to Afghanistan to fly attack helicopters in the fight against the Taliban. The army captain begins his new role as a co-pilot gunner of a fearsome Apache during a four-month deployment in the war-torn country. An Apache crew putting their machine through its paces in Afghanistan. Soon it'll be Prince Harry at the controls of one of these attack helicopters as his second tour of Helmand gets underway. Four and a half years after the media blew his cover and ended his first stint fighting the Taliban early. Angry probably the wrong, wrong word to use, but now I'm, I'm slightly disappointed. Um, I thought I could sit through to the end and come back with um, uh, sort of our guys and, and the colonel himself. Hey Roger, orange smoke now. In 2008, Harry was a forward air controller, calling in airstrikes in support of coalition forces. This time, he'll be on the other end of the radio conversation. He'll be the airstrike. But there are sure to be more questions asked about the wisdom of sending a royal prince back to war, where he'll present the ultimate prize to the enemy should anything go wrong. Though the former head of the Army General, Sir Mike Jackson, says Harry signed up to fight and fight he must. Let's be clear, um, both of these young princes chose to join the armed forces and I applaud them for that decision. They both know what's involved. It comes with the job and they both of these two young men, I no doubt understand that fully. This is the other side of the party prince. Just a couple of weeks ago, frolicking in the buff in Las Vegas, now preparing to kill in southern Afghanistan. But why is the fun-loving Harry putting his life on the line again? <laughs> Former Royal Marine Ben McBean, who lost an arm and a leg in Helmand, serving in the same brigade as Prince Harry in 2008, and who the prince called a hero, thinks he knows the answer. As a Marine, uh, as a soldier in general, you want to go to war. You know, you don't just want to say, I spent 22 years in the forces, where'd you go? No, uh, you know, you want to go to war and say that, you want to get your medals out and say, I've been there, I've done that, and he's exactly the same, which is why, you know, even though he's a, he's a royal, when he went through training, he would have went through exactly the same as everyone else. So mentally and physically, he's kind of on the same way as everyone else. Um, now he's an Apache pilot, again, he's, he's going to want to go out there. This is the lasting image of Prince Harry's first truncated tour to Afghanistan four years ago. Now he'll be in control of even more firepower and coalition forces on the ground will know he can deliver a strike. The Taliban cannot counter. David Bowden, Sky News.